Good morning and welcome to Liberating Faith Studies at Bethel Chapel AME Church. We'll be live here on Facebook at 1130 for worship. Join us or come on in to the Lebanon Theater Company at 10 South Mechanic Street in Lebanon, Ohio, where our worship team will be singing, praising God, and receiving a word from the Lord. We're glad to have you in our overview of the lesson, the superiority of the gospel. Our focus scripture is from Galatians chapter 3. I'll be reading verses 1 through 14. Our key verse, did you receive the Spirit by doing the works of the law or by believing what you heard? You foolish Galatians, who bewitched you? It was before your eyes that Jesus Christ was publicly exhibited as crucified. The only thing I want to learn from you is this. Did you receive the Spirit by doing the works of the law or by believing what you heard? Are you so foolish, having started with the Spirit, are you now ending with the flesh? Did you experience so much for nothing? If it really was for nothing, well then, does God supply you with the Spirit and work miracles among you by your doing the works of the law or by your believing what you heard? Just as Abraham believed God and it was reckoned to him as righteousness, so you see, those who believe are the descendants of Abraham. And the scripture, foreseeing that God would justify the Gentiles by faith, declared the gospel beforehand to Abraham, saying, All the Gentiles shall be blessed in you. For this reason, those who believe are blessed with Abraham who believed. For all who rely on the works of the law are under a curse, for it is written, Cursed is everyone who does not observe and obey all the things written in the book of the law. Now it is evident that no one is justified before God by the law, for the one who is righteous will live by faith. But the law does not rest on faith. On the contrary, whoever does the works of the law will live by them. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree. In order that in Christ Jesus, the blessing of Abraham may come to the Gentiles so that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Some of the key terms to help with understanding the text today. Bewitch, curse, Abraham, and foolish. Abraham being the first of the Hebrew patriarchs. The far father of the three Abrahamic faiths. As we go through the lesson today, you may want to make note of these key terms. And remember to pause along the way and discuss the different components of the lesson. The introduction today, planting a church requires hard work and diligence. This is what Paul did. He made multiple missionary journey, journeys during which he established churches. And once he had established them, he left them in the hands of other leaders and sometimes would visit again, but wrote letters, many of which we have now access to, including the book of Galatians. In Galatians 3, verses 1 through 5, we find reference to witchcraft, having a spell cast on people. Paul is using terms that are familiar within their Greek culture. And now for our Sankofa moment. Reaching back in order to carry the seeds of the past to benefit us in the future. And that leads us to our Black History moment. Petty Officer Robert Jones was a Black sailor stationed on the carrier USS Intrepid when the Japanese bombed it on October 29th. 1944. Although Jones was assigned as a cook during the attack, he manned a gun trained on a kamikaze fighter. As we read through Paul's letters, and certainly in within the book of Galatians, uh, we find reference to the trials and tribulations that the Christians in that era faced within their communities. It's important to keep in mind that while some of us live in communities where 
Christianity is the majority religion, and we have great support in our faith. There are still Christians across the globe who live in places where they are persecuted because they may be a religious minority, living in places where other groups are the majority, and in particular where there are authoritarian governments in place that are controlled by other religious groups, the Christians in those places need our prayers because they are often in great danger. Applying the text from Galatians 3 to our lives, we read about the people within the Galatian church needing to be instructed to make sure that they understood the tenets of their own faith rather than being led astray by the multiple religious doctrines that were that surrounded them in their culture we too need to guard against being drawn into non-biblical beliefs that weaken us some of the things that are mentioned here of course are putting stock in horoscopes uh, thinking that what happens to us is due to luck. There are certainly plenty of ideas that are put forth out, of, out in the social media realm uh, that can cause us to seek guidance from places other than our Christian walk. As Christians, we place our faith in God and in the atoning work of Jesus Christ. Here are some discussion questions for us. How can you guard against being attracted to doctrines that deny the gospel? What cost do you pay for being a Christian? As you pause to think about your own responses and to engage in conversations regarding the lesson for today, I hope that you will continue to read the book of Galatians. And our closing devotions take us into a meditation on the lyrics, Jesus paid it all. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we continually pray for our Christian sisters and brothers who face persecution because of their faith. Please strengthen their faith and comfort by your abiding presence. Thank you for allowing so many of us to worship freely. In Jesus' name, amen.